。最靠背的人 ，to be a cup bearer， 需要好这样满婚满婚的信念。He must actually、um, present himself fully, completely trustworthy to the king。因为 cup bearer， 爱来。用毒嚟偷食呢个网是真简单嘅大事 ，because it's so easy for the cup bearer to just put any amount of poison and kill the, the king。嗱，呢是呢个网 ，if you were the king， 你就话我话班人做啲 cup bearer， and right beside me is a gentile of a cup bearer。你唔会惊吗 ？Aren't you scared？ 你偷食啲啊 ？He could have put poison in your right in your drinks。Is it that so？ 可见呢个网对呢个你买一件扎信念，扎信念。It shows that the Persian king was tr- a completely Trusting of、uh, the cup bearer. 但是，我将真扎重要嘅代志。But there is one thing that you must remember. 你唔通未记。Don't ever forget that. Nehemiah 是真够创造嘅人。Nehemiah is an exemplary wine maker, cup bearer. 即系讲真爱念即个人创嘅酒。So in short, the king was completely, fully satisfied with Nehemiah's output. 全国家无人亲像这个犹太人肯够创造啊 ！So not a single person in the Persian kingdom is as good as Nehemiah when it comes to wine making. 酒真好念啊 ！The wine that he prepared, they are exemplary. 佢哋知唔知你系成功 ？Brothers and sisters, if you want to be successful, 你尽量攞在家念。How much of human responsibility have you performed? 你对上帝认呢 ？If you want God to use you, 就认呢。How could he use you? You want to be a cupbearer. If you want to be a cupbearer, you want to be a cupbearer. Do you know how to prepare wine? You want to be a cupbearer. Do you know how to cook? You want to be a cupbearer. Do you know how to can you cook? Here, there are so many times. We do not perform our human responsibility to kill people. We do not perform our human responsibility to kill people. We do not perform our human responsibility to kill people. We do not perform our human responsibility to kill people. We do not perform our human responsibility to kill people. We do not perform our human responsibility to kill people. We do not perform our human responsibility to kill people. We do not perform our human responsibility to kill people. We do not perform our human responsibility to kill people. We do not perform our human responsibility to kill people. We do not perform our human responsibility to kill people. We do not perform our human responsibility to kill people. We do not perform our human responsibility to kill people. We do not perform our human responsibility to kill people. We do not perform our human responsibility to kill people. We do not perform our human responsibility to kill people. We do not perform our human responsibility to kill people. We do not perform our human responsibility to kill people. We do not perform our human responsibility to kill people. We do not perform our human responsibility to kill people. We do not perform our human responsibility to kill people. We do not perform our human responsibility to kill people. We do not perform our human responsibility to kill people. We do not perform our human responsibility to kill people. We do not perform our human responsibility to kill people. We do not perform our human responsibility to kill people. We do not perform our human responsibility to kill people. We do not perform our human responsibility to kill people. We do not perform our human responsibility to kill people. We do not perform our human responsibility to kill people. We do not perform our human responsibility to kill people. We do not perform our human responsibility to kill people. We do not perform our human responsibility to kill people. We do not perform our human responsibility to kill people. We do not perform our human responsibility to kill people. We do not perform our human responsibility to kill people. We do not perform our human responsibility to kill people. We do not perform our human responsibility to kill people. We do not perform our human responsibility to kill people. We do not perform our human responsibility to kill people. We do not perform If you're a doctor, 做一个真好嘅医生 ，be an exceptional good doctor。做律师，做一个真好嘅律师。If you're a lawyer, be an exemplary lawyer。做成年人，做一个好嘅成年人。If you're a businessman, be a very good businessman。做一个 housewife。If you're a housewife， 做真好嘅 housewife。Be the best housewife。上帝看到你。So when God looks upon you， 你来尽你嘅责任。If you do your part as a human being， 上帝必使用你。He's going to use you。你来无负责任。If you're is irresponsible。求上帝稳定 ，and you keep asking for God's blessing。上帝稳定，唔会临到无负责任嘅人。God's blessing will never go to someone who is completely irresponsible。点解这两个人 ？Take a look at Boaz。Boaz 是个无随便负责任嘅人。So Boaz was shown to be a prudent, responsible man。Boaz 甲路德讲一句话。Boaz said something to Ruth。我实在是你知故嘅亲属，但是乌这个比国家更亲啊！就佢，伊若尽呢个责任，就好几罪；伊若冇不负尽责任，我只得影上又话起事，我的确为你尽我嘅本分。So Boaz told Ruth, although it is true that I'm nearer of the king, there is a kinsman redeemer nearer than I. In the morning, if he wants to redeem, good, let him redeem. But if he is not willing, as surely as the Lord lives, I will do it. Boaz, I love you. Boaz loved Ruth. 但是伊无主动去帮去去找路德，没 ，but never did he take any move to tell Ruth about it。对嘛，原来伊知呀 ，because he knows 这个唔是我的责任嘛 ，because that's beyond my responsibility。我无资格尽这个责任嘛 ，I am disqualified from performing the responsibility。因为原来有另外一个人啊 ，because in fact there's another man。伊那边伊去做 ，he is in fact more qualified to perform the responsibility。If he wants to do it, was it number two lang eh? So he's just a second in line. Look what, look what. So take a look. Boaz is a man who is not easy. So Boaz is a very prudent man. Not easy, not easy. If he thinks that's not his, then he wouldn't claim it. He called, called another man. So he called another man. He called, 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 called another man. He Ni dai shen guo si dai di. So you first, then I'm the second. This is a procedure. So now we speak a procedure. 
our God is the Almighty God. That is God of order. So, so we can say that God is the God of order. So Christians or people of God, they are people of order. So if you want to perform your responsibility, then you enact your responsibility in order. So father, mother, each one has his or her own responsibility. May God help us. So you do your utmost to perform the responsibility. And as you wake up, so after Boaz told the man, then this man said, Yes, I'm willing to redeem the lamb. So when the person said, I'm willing to redeem the lamb, so Boaz's heart must have sank. But Boaz said, Boaz said, on the day that you buy the land from Naomi and from Ruth, the Moabites, you acquire the dead man's widow in order to maintain the name of the dead with his property. Not only do you redeem the land, you also have to marry Ruth as a wife. Now after you marry this Moabites, then you must share your property to her. And then the man said, Then he said, No, no, I, I, don't, want kind of, I don't want that kind of a deal. The man said, Then I cannot redeem it because I might endanger my own essay. You redeem it yourself, I can't do it. So this man did want to perform his responsibility. So next in line, Boaz performed the responsibility. But why, why did the person refuse the responsibility? It's not that he's a bad guy. First, first he wanted to redeem the land. But he didn't want to marry a mobile. Because after marrying this Ruth, after they had a child, so that one child must be attributed to the line of Elimelech. So you are in fact sharing your family's wealth to someone of another household. So and then the person said, no, I don't want the deal. Because I don't want to endanger my own estate. But Boaz said, I'm willing. So Boaz so we see that Boaz is very good, but a little dumb. Now, now he's sharing his family wealth to another person. But God didn't deprive Boaz of his blessings. Boaz, King David, a great grandfather. In fact, Boaz became the great grandfather of King David. And Boaz, Jesus Christ. And then you can say the Boaz is the ancestor of the Lord Jesus Christ. So at first it looks like it's not a good deal. But in fact, it turned out everything is more than what he thought of. So may God help us. Try to expand some. Unless you give, unless you offer, nothing will come in return. Take a look at the second person. Take a look at Ruth. Ruth is one person who is willing to take walk the extra mile. What does it mean to walk the extra mile? This is in fact from a phrase of, from a statement of Jesus. Jesus said, if someone forces you to go one mile, go with him two miles. Uh, the Jewish nation was under Roman rule then. The Romans, they have a certain privilege. If they're carrying something very heavy, if he meets, uh, meets any of the Jews, he can require the particular Jew to carry this heavy load for him. But only within a parameter of a distance. That's just one mile. That was the legal requirement. Just one mile. But what did Jesus say? So Jesus said, if someone forces you to go one mile, go with him two miles. 